The Hibbard plant in Duluth has been operating since the 30s, providing both steam and electricity for the twin ports. But unlike most power facilities, this plant utilizes a natural resources that surrounds us every day and can be easily regrown. And so photojournalist Blake Mellon and I went to explore the biomass power plant in this week's Collins Classroom. Uh, we're outside the Hibbert plant. You guys use biorenewable fuels, and you've been telling me that's wood. Uh, and this is one of the drop-off locations, so what am I looking at here? What you're looking at here behind us is a platform that we call a truck dumper. And the trucks will back onto this platform. They're full of uh, woody biomass, so maybe uh, residue from a logging operation might be from a sawmill or some other manufacturer that uses wood. So that material is being lifted up in the air now and we're gonna use gravity to dump all that material out of his trailer and into our feed hopper. It's, that's fully up right now at about 70 degrees. That is impressive. How far away are these trucks coming from? Typically 100 miles or less. And from that hopper, it'll go through a series of conveyors. And then from there, it goes to a storage facility. Okay, so this is the storage facility then? It is, that's the, where we store about a day's worth of biomass for the uh, boilers and that's a those, huge facility I mean for one day it is we take about 20 to 25 truckloads of every day and if and more if we're uh, really pushing a lot of power out the door we can go up to 50 truckloads a day how much power do you create a day we can go up to 60 megawatts here so <laughs> yeah so it's quite a bit enough to power of 60,000 homes are in that neighborhood the ash coming out of the boilers is used on farmers' fields for fertilizer, so there's really nothing that goes to waste. When you're making power, you typically have to have some kind of water source for cooling, and that's why we're on the water. So we have we, we don't use the water in, in our process, but it runs through to cool the steam back into water. We create steam, then those, that steam is sent to two different places, really, either to the turbine to create electricity, but we also send it to our one of our biggest customers, Verso, right across the street here. They use it for making paper. So we have a dual use for the facility here. Uh, how many, like, gallons of water is converted to steam in, like, an hour? Oh, that's a good enough, good question. I don't know off the top of my head, but I would have to say over 100,000 gallons in an hour. So this plant has been in operation since the 30s and originally was designed as a coal-fired power plant and then was converted in the late 80s to burn biomass. But why was the decision made to go from coal to biomass? Well, renewable energy is a really important part of Minnesota Power's energy forward mix. And we wanted to make sure that we had a way to have renewable energy that's dispatchable. Unlike wind and solar, wood biomass can be sent to the grid anytime you need it, not when the wind's blowing, not when the sun's shining, but when you need it. So that gives it an important distinction and a very uh, great great use of the uh, natural resource that's right in our backyard. It's our, our great facility here and uh, how biomass plays a great important role within Minnesota Power's system. Cool thing. 